in this video let us look at what iceberg phenomenon of diseases is okay so of diseases okay so basically what does it mean what is the application examples let us look at this so basically it is the biological spectrum of disease so basically the what are they calling it as biological spectrum of disease okay so basically <clears throat> according to this concept disease in a community can be compared with iceberg basically in an iceberg small portion of the iceberg is outside only small portion of the iceberg is outside and major chunk is inside okay so in an iceberg very small portion of the iceberg is visible above the water surface and its large part is submerged below below the water surface and hence not visible the visible floating tip so they are talking about this here the visible floating tip of the iceberg represents what physician sees in the community that is the clinical cases and the uh this is these are the clinical cases okay let us label it these are the clinical cases right so a clinician can see this so you can do diagnosis right all that you can do so basically what about the ones that are hidden that is the so basically these will be the situations so these people have the infection let's say they are, but they are not symptomatic yet they are not diagnosed they have they are, they are a carrier right or there can be a latent infection like in some trigeminal ganglion the virus is sitting etc in apparent or it's not very obvious so those will be the vast submerged hidden portion of the iceberg okay so basically these these this is responsible these things are responsible for constant prevalence of the disease because somehow clinically if it is visible they'll get treated and they'll go away but why these cases keep coming because of the submerged portion the disease will be prevalent in the community right now what about this surface line what does the surface line indicate this line indicates the demarcation between the apparent and the inapparent infections okay so basically they are saying the water represents the healthy population water represents the healthy population so the disease is the iceberg water around it is the healthy population okay so an epidemiologist is concerned with the hidden portion of the iceberg so who is concerned about the hidden portion an epidemiologist is concerned with the hidden portion epidemiologist is con concerned about this hidden portion of the iceberg and a doctor or a clinician clinician right is bothered more about the clinical clinical cases okay so an epidemiologist is concerned with the hidden portion of the iceberg whereas the clinician is concerned with the tip of the iceberg screening is done for the hidden portion of iceberg so here what is done for these people what is done screening is done and for these people what is done diagnosis is done okay so you will you will do a diagnosis and arrive at the disease okay next diagnosis and treatment also you can see this phenomena is due to why is this phenomena it is due to mild cases taking treatment at home and getting cured so basically many people may be may get cured at home they may take their treatment mild cases at home some very early stages cannot be diagnosed maybe that is why there is an undiagnosed here because some early scenarios cannot be diagnosed in some instances persons harbor the organism but do not suffer from the disease that will be carrier right so let us let us look at some examples now examples basically of iceberg phenomena so basically the examples will be communicable in communicable you have uh, example gastroenteritis cholera right hepatitis a again this all is food food bone only right polio also food bone then diphtheria influenza aids etc diphtheria influenza etc so these will be the communicable diseases which are examples of iceberg phenomena let us look at the next category here for examples 
So next we have the non-communicable. Non-communicable, what will you see? So non-communicable diseases which are showing I, um, iceberg phenomena will be hypertension, diabetes. So you know that small population has hypertension, diabetes. But do you know that a larger population actually has hypertension and diabetes which are not diagnosed etc. Okay. So then coming to the next category here in examples, you have diseases not showing. Okay, okay. So these two are examples of iceberg phenomena diseases. Okay, then there is diseases which do not show, which do not show iceberg phenomena. Which do not show iceberg phenomena, we have um, rabies. Rabies cannot be hidden. It is a huge thing there. Can you hide measles? No. Measles is quite visible. Similarly, rubella. And they have also in included tetanus here. Okay. So these are the diseases that do not show iceberg phenomena. Okay. <clears throat> Significance. So what is the significance of this iceberg phenomena? So basically, let's take our diagram here. So basically, what is the importance of this iceberg phenomena? So let us look at this. What is the importance of uh, iceberg phenomena? The hidden part of the iceberg constitutes an important undiagnosed reservoir of infection or disease in the community. Its detection and control is a challenge to an epidemiologist. So they are saying this hidden part is a challenge to an epidemiologist. Okay. So we are done with the iceberg phenomenon of disease. Okay. That's all for now. Bye bye.